What's going on guys? It's New York Prepper here and I want to do a quick gear review video for you guys. This is going to be a, uh, a sling stud uh, bipod mount. Alright, so if you guys have a basic uh, bolt action rifle with a sling stud, uh, like every bolt action rifle has a sling stud on it, and you want to add a rail, a Picatinny rail, to your rifle, um, I, I want to show you a good gear, a piece of gear that will let you do that without having to uh, permanently drill and install the rail into the stock. You know, like a lot of the, uh, the Seekins rails and some of the other ones, you have to actually, you know, drill holes and install it, you know, and um, some people just don't want to do that. And, uh, you know, I also like to have the flexibility of, of not having a rail permanently mounted here. Um, you know, just in case for whatever reason, I, I don't want to have that big rail hanging off the front because this rifle here is a hunting rifle, but I may want to set it up for tactical use as well. And for, uh, for a bipod, which is what I'm actually doing right now, I'm going to set it up for an Atlas bipod. And this rifle is a Ruger M77 Hawkeye Alaskan in 300 Win Mag. Um, I have an Athlon Midas HMR 2.5 to 15 by 50 uh, scope on it. Alright, so I uh, wanted to just show you, um, you know, how this, this uh, AccuTac sling stud adapter works. Alright, it's very simple, very, it's, it's very straightforward to install. You don't have to drill anything. I think it's a really good product and it's very high quality and, you know, you can put it on multiple rifles you know if you let's say have multiple uh, bolt action rifles and you want to switch the rail from one rifle to another you know rather than having to install a rail on every single rifle that you have you know you can just take this uh, AccuTac rail and just move it from one rifle to the other you know which is very useful um, so this is the product itself this is the rail and uh you know, as you can see, it's just the basic, you know, Picatinny rail. And uh, the way that it works is it has this, this, uh, this stud that goes over your existing stud, okay? It's got a little pin. So what you do is you take this pin, you put this big, this big stud that it comes with. It, this is stainless steel, so that's good. It's a good quality um, metal. What you do is you put this over your... your uh, your swivel stud that's on your rifle already and then you slide this pin through through the uh, stud and then you just slide the rail on top of this and then it has a uh, and the pin the pin slide there's recesses cut out for the pin here so then you slide it over and you have this giant locking nut that screws on top so then that allows you to basically install the rail onto your bipod uh, or onto your sling stud so you can add a bipod so i'll show you how it works right now so basically um here's the rifle here's the stud all right so i'm going to try to do this right now so i take my uh the stud that it comes with and so this also allows you to use a uh, it allows you to use a sling you know still which a regular rail was not going to let you. And, and why would you want to have a Picatinny rail on your uh, bolt action? Uh, because a lot of bipods now, especially premium bipods, they require you to have a Picatinny rail. Like Atlas bipods, they don't have a uh, sling stud uh, adapter for their bipods. So I just slid the uh, I slid the the giant you know screw here. I slide the rail over. Okay, I slide it over. It's very, very simple, okay? It takes two seconds to do. Slide it over like so. Take the locking nut, okay? And then just tighten it down. And, and you can actually just hand tighten it. If you're really, uh, you know, worried about this moving, all you, all you do is just use a multi-tool and gently, gently tighten it, cinch it down with the multi-tool and just torque it down. Um, so you could just hand tighten this nut here, okay, and uh, 
you know you don't have to do super tight just enough until the rail is solid in place and it's not moving all right um and uh it, it has like a slight concave shape to it as you can see um the rail has a slight concave it has a slight concave shape okay which definitely uh let me see if i can't can't show that to you guys it has a very slight concave shape right here okay so if, if your stock is a little bit you know concave like most stocks are um i don't know if you guys can see that yeah you can see see it's got a concave shape all right so if you have a curved stock uh my particular stock here has a flat bottom this is a hogue uh you know hogue uh stock that they made for the rugers but uh, you can hand tighten the screw here. You don't have to go super tight. Um, and then you may need to use a multi-tool. If you want to really tighten it down, you can, you can use a multi-tool. And, uh, you know, it's just my Leatherman wingman. Uh, you know, you can tighten it down with the multi-tool if you really want to, you know, get it tight. But you, you don't really need to, in all honesty. Um, you know, you don't really need to. Uh, you know you can you can loosen it you may need to use a multi-tool to undo the nut once you tighten it down um because it, it gets really tight on there but so that's the rail uh you know it looks nice as you can see it it, it uh you know it, it has a nice aesthetic look to it and uh definitely will it will let you add a, a bipod now a premium bipod to your bolt action rifle and you don't have to drill and install a permanent rail uh, some stocks make it hard to install a permanent rail depending on how the stock is designed a little bit of the rail hangs off the edge of the, ed edge of the stock here but i'm not too worried about that so this is going to have an atlas bipod on it so that's why i got this rail um so i wanted to just show you guys that so uh check it out accutech accutech uh sling stud rail adapter okay and uh high quality components as you can see it's a very beefy beefy aluminum here beefy aluminum and stainless steel you can see the uh the nice thick stainless steel here and the rail is just really beefy all right so it's it's not going anywhere um you know for for mounting a bipod you know you don't need to really have anything super crazy um but uh, you know i like the flexibility that it adds and uh you know ease of installation so check it out guys uh and uh i'll catch you on the next one take care god bless and don't forget the three p's prepare practice and persevere <laughs>